Hi guys, we are Sensor Tech Forums team. I'm Gary, and this video is about the ways to remove Zep2 ransomware from your system and to restore some of your corrupted data. Okay, let's start. First, we need to start the PC into safe mode. This will isolate files and objects created by the ransomware, so we will remove it efficiently. Press and hold Windows button, then press R. In the field type mcconfig. Click on Boot tab and mark Save Boot option. Apply. OK and restart. After the restart, the words safe mode should appear in the corners of your monitor. After the removal process, you should go through the same steps and unmark save boot option in order to start Windows normally. Now we can continue to the removal process. You can automatically remove the ransomware using anti-malware software. We choose to show how to do it with this one. It will scan for all malicious files on your PC. After the scan, you can remove all files associated with the ransomware as well as all other existing threads on your computer just with one click on the button. Other option is manual removal of the ransomware. Now Vency will show you how to do it. Hello, this is Vency at Sensors Tech Forum and I will take you through the removal process of this ransomware. Uh, first, if you're going to remove its files, you need to know their names. Most ransomwares usually have random names. For example, this one. If you have the name, open your computer. Then click on search this PC. Then type file extension, double dot, and the extension of the file you're looking for. Usually for ransomware, it's exe. Then type space and type the name of the file you're looking for. It should take some time so you should wait for the green bar to go on full. After you have found the file all you have to do is delete it. In case you cannot delete it there is an option that the file may be actively running on your computer as a process. To stop the file as a process, simply press on your computer Windows button plus R and then type Task MGR. After that, click on Enter. Then open your Task Manager. Look for Processes in the Details tab for newer version of Windows that are suspicious and stop them. If you know the executable, you should look for a process with its name. This is how you delete a file. Now, let's delete registry entries created by this ransomware on your computer. To do that, press Windows button plus R again, then open the reg edit by typing it and clicking OK. Accept any administrator prompts. After you're in the registry editor, Go to the following location, HKey Current User, Software. Microsoft, Windows, Current Version, and then Run. In there, you should find a key that usually has a random name or has name of the ransomware. What you should do is simply delete that key. This key makes the ransomware run and encrypt data every time you start Windows. Usually uh, this ransomware may also put other keys and to find them you need to know more about them. So in order to find a key press Ctrl plus F on your keyboard and type either the name of the ransomware uh, or something that you're familiar with. Uh, 
you should uh, you should enable to look for keys and values now here we see the key for the wallpaper this is every time when the ransomware changes the wallpaper on your computer you can modify that key this key should also be deleted okay after you've deleted some registry entries it is time to clean up your registry editor to do that we're going to use the following script, which you can find gladly on our description of the video. To use this script, you're going to need a program called Windows Resource Kits. You can download it from the link in the description. It's very easy to install. Simply go to Windows Resource Kit Tools, Setup, and then click on Next accept the agreement click on next again and then click on install now alright after you've installed it simply finish the installation and open the script now you're gonna need to save the script on a text file then click on file save as and on the file name type anything that's easy for you to remember and it should end with the extension dot bat b a t for example fix dot b a t on save as type click on the drop down menu and then go to all files after which click on save Save it somewhere where you can find it, for example on the desktop. After you've saved it, simply copy the file to the location of Windows Resource Kits, which is usually C, Drive, Program Files, Windows Resource Kits, Tools, and then you should paste it here after you have done that you can start the script now to do that you're going to need to enter Windows command prompt by pressing Windows button plus R and typing CMD in the command prompt you should run it as an administrator for this to work you should type cd c the location of windows resource kits uh, up to the folder tools this is c program files x86 for 64 bit operating systems windows resource kits tools after you've done that, simply type the name of the file you created and the script should run automatically. And here it is. It started fixing registry entries and looking for errors in them. We're gonna pause this video now because this is may take some time. Yeah, here it is. You can see after it's completed how many uh, registry entries are modified and cleaned up. Now. To recover your files, you have several different options. Uh, one of the options you can choose is uh, if you have set up uh, file history, uh, shadow volume copies, you can restore your files with it. Um, it's very easy. Simply type file history and open the settings, after which you'll find uh, buttons for file for restoration on the specific date now the other method is to use a data recovery tool now very important bear in mind that this is not 100% um, successful and there are a lot of data recovery software out there uh, but you can try this using this tool and you may recover at least some of your files you can see here sometime later after scanning 
with this data recovery software. We have uh, re managed to recover some files that we need and simply select those files and then go to recover. Now, like I'm saying again, we have chosen this software, but there are also many others. Okay, thank you for watching guys and like, make sure to like and subscribe and ask any question you'd like in the comment section. We'll